Why are we not just going to find a new trading range for sterling on the basis of the new credit ratings and the country's position with regard to the EU trading bloc? Why are we not just going to switch into a new trading range? The reason is that this is not just an event. Uh, we can say uh, that uh, this is just uh, the end of the beginning. Uh, we have to wait for the negotiations uh, to start. The negotiations will be long under any uh, scenario, simply because what the UK is asking is impossible for the EU to deliver. Mm. And it's not even clear if uh, after Article 50 is triggered and we start the negotiations, if the two-year period will be enough. At the same time, the UK will need to negotiate all trade and economic agreements and relationships with the rest of the world. No matter how you see it, this is going to be a very long process. And you can think of a number of scenarios, some more positive or more negative than others. So Sterling is likely to respond to all these headlines related to these long, long negotiations. And at the same time, it will have a real economic impact. Let me ask you, do you think that um, holders of currencies are going to reduce permanently the size of their sterling allocation after you know Brexit is digested here because it seems to me as we know the reduction of currencies to create the euro removed a lot of opportunities to hold hedging currencies against economic uh, events in the eurozone there aren't that many strong currencies left in the world that you can hang on to and believe in the credibility of governments and systems do people downgrade their sterling long-term holdings as a result of this Brexit outcome? I mean, we are running out of uh, safe haven currencies. Uh, this, is, uh, this, is, uh, this is indeed the case. I mean, the truth is that um, uh, we have seen uh, a reduction of liquidity in the NFX market in the last couple of uh, years. Uh, positions are relatively uh, light to a large extent because FX moves have been counterintuitive, have not been following so much data and fundamentals. This might actually become worse. Uh, before the referendum, we were trading central banks, now we'll be trading Brexit.